Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for what's stopping them from coming forward. So we have these three beautiful groups, group one, two and three. And you can go to the description box of my video and you will find the timestamps for each of these readings. So you can go there and then you can watch and view your reading. I also want to mention as well that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information will also be in the description box below. I do a giveaway every month. Also, if you'd like to book a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy if you're interested in purchasing those. Free international shipping on all of them. I'm wearing the Soulmate one on my wrist right now. And um, thank you so much for all of the love and support on my, my bracelets. You know, seeing the reviews is absolutely amazing to see how so many of you are feeling very strong energies and are also seeing it you know, a, a change and a difference in your life, which is amazing. So thank you so much. These are meditated with, they're, these are sage. They're also handmade by me as well. So definitely do check out the um, Etsy shop. And yeah, that's down below. Let's get started with this reading and see what is essentially stopping them from coming forward. All right, we're going to start first of all with group one. So I'm going to move these other two groups carefully out of the way and onto the side. All right, so group number one, let's have a look and see what is stopping them from coming forward. So we have this beautiful feather. I'm gonna leave the feather at the bottom right here. We have here the five of swords. We have the strength card. We have the seven of wands and justice. This is really interesting because I feel like it may actually be, okay, it's their fear. It's their fear. I was going to say this may actually be just them, you know, themselves, and it is. It's their fear. See, the strength card here is about taming your fear. The seven of wands is about a challenge, an obstacle, and a struggle that really does come from within. So they're getting through it, which is a good thing, which also shows that they, they will be able to get through this. So that's good. They'll be able to get through it. But also, they're just so conflicted. It's like they go back and forth. They feel unbalanced or imbalanced at one point, and then they feel good, and then they feel just imbalanced again and then they feel good or they feel imbalanced again and then they feel good you know hot and cold energy but it's their own fear it's it's something that stems from within themselves it's not your fault please don't blame yourself you know if they're not coming forward to you they will in time because we have the justice card which shows a resolution it shows peace it shows balance it shows things coming together but the seven of wands really really is showcasing that this is stemming from themselves themselves their insecurities and also the fact that they they may just feel like it's too much right now and they're not ready for it so this gives them that fear all right it gives them fear because the strength card here is a message about you know taming your fears it's also about feeling stronger within yourself fives and terror are about change so this conflict that this person is feeling in regards to coming forward to you it's going to change i always say in all of my videos Fives in tarot are about change. So things will change. Things will get better. Things will evolve. All right. They will become a bird that will be able to fly. Not saying that, you know, this is a bird or anything, but looking at that feather as well. And blue really represents the throat chakra. So they will be able to come forward and verbally communicate with you. But they do need a bit of space, a bit of time, a bit of breathing room, essentially, to be able to get over this naturally by themselves. The thing is, if they get pushed in a direction by someone else that tells them you need to just get over it or things like that, they just won't be able to. You know, it's a little bit like how if we're feeling upset and someone says, just get over it, it's fine. It triggers us, right? And it makes us think, well, no, I'm going to continue to feel how I'm feeling and you can exit the situation, you know? So let this person have their time, their space. What's blocking them is themselves because they're not feeling balanced and they're not also feeling ready. They're feeling conflicted, very hot and cold, right? So give them that space and that time, essentially. So it's a very uh, short and sweet reading, but it's very to the point. And I kind of like that about these little sort of bite, bite-sized readings. Um, so, you know, if you found that this resonated, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And, um, now I'm going to move on to group number two. All right, so take away this beautiful feather. It's so soft. I have a parrot and his feathers are not as soft, but these are so soft. All right, so group number two. This is your reading for what's stopping them from coming forward. So we have this beautiful bright yellow feather. I'm just going to leave at the bottom there. 
we have here the Four of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, and we also have the Four of Cups. Something to me here suggests that what's stopping them from coming forward is this sense of, well, it's two things. First of all, it's a fear of commitment. That's what it is. When you have the Ace of Pentacles next to the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups, Four of Cups is about overlooking things, rejecting things. It is about rejecting the sense of wanting to come forward and wanting something more, which can be commitment. It can be, you know, just something more in the connection, you know, things progressing in the connection. It's about overlooking that, rejecting it, not wanting to be a part of it. So that's what's happening. They're, they're in this phase right now of rejecting the idea of wanting things to progress because they feel trapped within themselves. They just do not feel like it is the time for this right now. And also the Four of Swords shows that they just want their own space. They want their own time. They want to be able to just feel good. They want to feel good within their own energy. And I don't feel like they're fearful of this. Well, they kind of are, but I don't feel like that's the main thing. The main thing here is that they're not ready. Okay. They're not ready at all. This is, this is something that they are absolutely not ready for. And so they need time for it. They really need time for it. It's more so that they just feel really trapped whenever they think about commitment. That's the thing. I mean, can that be a fear? I guess that can be a fear, but it's not like they're so, I mean, it's not like they're scared, scared of it. They're just so like not ready. You know, they just, they can't think about it right now. They just can't think about it. It's like they just block it out from their mind and their heart. So essentially that's what I'm seeing is that they just need time and space to figure themselves out because they just, they're not even able to just look at this situation right now. So that's what's stopping them coming forward because they're just, they don't want commitment right now. And I know that sounds really awful to say, but you know, some people are just like that in their life where they just don't want that. They can't think about it. It doesn't make them feel good. So they reject the idea of it. They reject the thoughts about it you know, Eight of Swords, they just feel trapped when they think about commitment or having that element of things in their life. And so they just want space and time to figure themselves out and to get themselves out of this trapped energy that they feel, you know, they're in. So that's essentially what is stopping them from coming forward. It is a very short sort of bite-sized reading. So it's very, very to the point. And uh, that is what I'm seeing. This is more so the fact that they are just not ready. They, they just, they just not, you know. <sighs> wow. Wow in a not so great way, but it's, it's a very heavy energy. That's why, you know, I feel like I'm breathing a lot heavier as well throughout the course of this reading. So that's essentially what I'm seeing. They just need space. They really do. That's what I'm seeing. All right, so group number two, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now I'm going to move on to group number three. All right. Group number three, last but never least, never least. All right, so group number three, let's have a look and see what is stopping them from coming forward. So we have this beautiful blue feather. Okay. We have the three of swords. We have the four. We have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is that there's something from the past that is stopping them from being able to move forward in this connection. Now, this can be their emotions, but I feel specifically it's been um, someone that they've sort of dealt with in the past that, you know, that burden of it is just sort of still on them, if that makes sense. They're still thinking about the past, essentially. So this is stopping them from coming forward. I say that because we have two threes here. Threes and terror are about karma. It's also about karmic situations, uh, things that you know people have dealt with in the past that are just very karmic in nature. So that's something that is really coming through quite strong um, in these cards, especially with the three of swords. It's about you know the past. It's also about hurt from the past and not having completely healed from it. So what's blocking them from really sort of coming forward is past, past issues not feeling great and just not feeling like they've healed from it, which is stopping them also from coming forward because they're still stuck in that past. So this Ace of Wands shows that they're sort of carrying that wand burden. And you know what just happened? It's 11-11. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's 11-11 on my timing screen. This wand here shows that progression will come. 
all right? They will be able to heal themselves from what they're feeling, but also there's this sort of burden and things will get better. Things will get much stronger for them. They will be able to move on and move forward from this. So the fall here shows that they will be able to move forward from this, this hurt and this past situation that is still sort of on them. Um, it's something that they'll be able to let go of. That's specifically what I'm seeing. So that's good. They'll be able to, to get over it, essentially, and be able to move on from the past rather than staying stuck in the past or wanting something from the past. They'll be able to move on and essentially onwards and upwards from that. So that's positive, right? That's good to see as well. Just checking the microphone. Yep, there we go. So that's what I'm seeing is that essentially it's because of the past. That's something that is really stopping them from coming forward. But will they come forward? Yes, because we see the fool there. We also see the ace of wands. They're in a bit more of sort of like an immature sort of energy right now, regardless of age. It's about energy. So, you know, they will go through these lessons, they will learn it, and they will very much so then be able to progress from it as well. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, timestamp 1111 again. Wow. I've seen it a few times, well, a couple of times now, right? So pretty, pretty exciting for sure. So yeah, this is your reading. Also do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, bracelets, which are on Etsy as well, if you're interested in any of those things. I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this um, video and take care, take lots and lots of care. Bye.